Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to get started. My name is Aaron. I'm the global CTO of Sage. Um, raise your hand if you've heard of Sage. You know who it is? That's really cool. Uh, for those of you who don't know who it is, uh, Sage is a global software company. We sell accounting and payroll, HR, back office, manufacturing. We've got about 170 products that we sell globally. We're a UK listed, London based or Newcastle based company. Um, and what I'm going to talk about today is the relationship between AI and trust, which is pretty critical to what we're doing and the way we develop our products. I want to start just by, by sharing my, my resume with you, which is very, very short. So in the late 90s, I went to work for Arthur Anderson. Do you guys remember Arthur Anderson? Huge betrayal of trust there. Uh, Anderson, Arthur Anderson, when I was hired, was the most respected of the big six at the time global accounting firms, um, before I, or just after I left, they completely disappeared off the face of the planet uh, by destroying trust in markets over the Enron scandal, the WorldCom scandal. Um, and just so we're clear, I left beforehand and I had nothing to do with it. But I was a terrible, terrible, terrible consultant. Um, so I moved out to Silicon Valley early 2000 and I joined the founding team of a company called Intact. Uh, and I've had that job ever since. So it took a long time to build Intact into something that was successful. 17 years later, we sold the business to Sage, um, and I transitioned to be the, the global CTO at Sage. So why do I tell you all that? Um, well, first of all, I've been doing the same job for 23 years now, which means that I've got a lot of stories to tell about this particular topic that, that's super, super important to me. So what I'm not gonna do today is give you a bunch of like regulations and standards and you know, very specific guidelines on what you do. What I'm gonna to try to do instead is give you some principles, um, tell you some stories, really get you thinking at more of the business level, right, the commercial level about really the importance of trust when you're building an AI solution. So let me start with a story. Um, early in the pandemic, we were calling a lot of customers to just kind of get a, a sense of what's happening in the world of our customers around the world. I was speaking to a, a small company in, in the Midlands in England. Uh, they did paving stones, and it was a small uh, mom and pop shop, literally, right? The, the husband ran the store, the wife did all the bookkeeping and the accounting, and so I called her because she had left us a negative review. Uh, so I really wanted to talk to this woman, find out what's going on, um, and it's, you know, as a CTO, you need to do that, or you completely lose trust, of, of, or lose, lose uh, touch with what's going on with your customers and your products. As the conversation progressed, she told me about the difficulty she was having tracking all of her cash flow um, and how much time she was spending just reconciling her bank account. And I knew that with the product she was using, we had a fully automated bank reconciliation feature. Went out to your bank account, downloaded all the transactions, matched the transactions, uses AI to classify them. So I asked her if she was using it. Um, and uh, to, to my great sadness, her response was, no, I don't trust it. Uh, and when, you, when I really dug in, it had nothing to do with whether she thought it was secure, whether she thought we were taking care of her data in a, in a, you know, in a, in a disciplined way. It was entirely due to the fact that if she lost track or made a single mistake in reconciling cash, they might miss payroll. They might not be able to uh, get their next uh, supplement uh, in and, and paid for and lose a relationship with a vendor. So she was so concerned about handing that off to technology that she just wouldn't do it. And that's basically what I'm going to try to share with you today is it doesn't matter how cool your product is. It doesn't matter how sexy the AI is. If your customers don't trust it, they won't use it. So I'm going to take you through uh, four... Well, no, we're going to talk about why it's important first, and then I'm going to take you through the four layers of trust. So trust is getting more and more important as technology evolves. If you go back, you know, 10, 15 years ago, the impact a technology company could have on the world was, was sort of limited. But as we're now getting into, you know, networks and AI and, and a lot of really powerful public cloud computing, the impact large technology companies can have on the world is far greater and therefore we have to accept more responsibility. So our whole attitude about technology has to change. So here's a couple of themes that are driving that. So the first is digital transformation, right? It's only accelerating now. It means that human work is being replaced with technology. Uh, that means humans then have to trust the technology to take over 
uh, for the work they've been doing. Um, number two, AI, which is the biggest factor driving digital transformation, has an incredible opportunity to do harm. Um, it, it, the whole purpose of AI is to replicate human decision making. When you replicate human decision making at you know, lightning speed, if that decision making is flawed, you can do massive, massive harm. Uh, number three, society's got greater expectations. Um, they're more sophisticated. My 23, 24 <laughs> year old son is still on iOS 8 and an old Apple phone because he doesn't want to upgrade. He, doesn't, he, he knows he's sort of playing into their world and giving them their, you know, his data and he's giving up his privacy. Um, and number four, we have to, to be really honest with ourselves as an industry, trust has been abused. I mean, we, we can all probably rattle off three or four examples of where big tech companies have abused the trust of their customers. So customers are always, they're already coming into this with a bit of a jaded view on what we're doing with their trust. Um, and then last of all, and this is something that I learned as I started to build out our AI team at Sage, you can't build AI without the participation of your customers. You just can't do it. What you're trying to do is automate what they do manually, replicate their decision making, use their data to train the AI, and if they don't work with you on that journey, you're not gonna build a good solution. So you have to have their trust to partner with you as you're building AI. So what I'm gonna go through, oh, and it gets even worse, by the way, with large language models. Um, everything that I just described is now magnified and accelerated with large language models. You probably, I don't have to explain what ChatGPT is, right? Everybody, every, okay. All right, and we're all really aware of like hallucinations and all the problems with ChatGPT. Okay, I think the thing that's relevant though with large language models like GPT is that the hallucinations are so confident, right? It, it, is, it is very difficult to detect when a large language model is giving you a, a wrong answer, right?